Hello everybody. Welcome back to Green Cover Initiative. Today's plant is the super non-fussy spider plant or the Chlorophytum commosum. In this channel I will be introducing you to plants and trees around you. Garden plants, wild plants, trees, herbs and veggies. So if you are interested in knowing more about plants, please subscribe to this channel. Now these spider plants are super easy to grow even for amateur gardeners and the propagation is also a breeze. They are short plants only growing to a height of 50 to 60 cm. Leaves are either plain green or with colored stripes. If the white streak is in the middle it is called vitatum and if it's at the edges it is called variegatum. There are spider plants with light yellow stripes as well in the middle or along the edges. These plants do produce small white flowers but they are very inconspicuous and hence these are mostly grown in gardens as leafy plants. Now for the most interesting part. The spikes that carry the flowers will later produce small plants which are called plantlets or pups. If these stems bend down and touch the soil, these pups can produce new plants. As easy as that and that's how they propagate. These spider-like stems are what gives the plant its name spider plant. My spider plant here started from a small pot and then it spread everywhere even climbing into pots and roosting there covering this entire garden with the spider plant. You can even cut these small plantlets and plant them in separate pots or you can leave them in water for a couple of weeks to take root before you do the replanting. This plant is very easy to grow and maintain as I told you earlier. They need regular watering especially during summer months uh, but in direct sunlight and very little fertilization. They look lovely in hanging baskets with the plantlets or the pups that are hanging all around them. They are not indoor plants but they can be grown near windows that get adequate sunlight. Look at the spider plant of mine thriving in proper shade. This is underneath uh, the bacella plant that is growing above it with very little sunlight and doing well. So that's it about spider plants. Hope you enjoy growing them. Happy gardening to you.